backbone, we talked about posture versus confirmation. You have my five steps of yoga. Once you've been doing all that and the neck is stretching back, if you have one of these horses, okay, where the calcifications are getting too much down in here, you really want to start the neck telescoping. And on your older horses, it'll give you a beautiful neck. They'll start carrying it right. Dr. Regan Golub's neck telescoping short videos on my YouTube channel, okay? You have the horse owner hold here. And if you want to use a treat the first couple times, that's acceptable. But they should learn the release. Your hand's going to slide down here. Your thumb is going to go up near where the jugular is. And you're only really pushing with your thumb. See this big, bigger part right here? Slide down. I'm going to push up. She's going to wiggle her fingers a little lower for a halter pose. And then I'm going to let up on pressure, hold for a count of five, and release. He's going to learn to telescope his neck and stretch all of this out because see five, six, and seven are too close together. That's your U-neck torsos. They're pulling with the front end because they can't push with the hind. So you can do this a couple times. Once they learn it, he looks for his release and there you go. See a little bit of the neck change? That's going to fill in this dip that's up here. When you have the dip before the withers, rhomboids and trapezius are pulling down and these are too tight. So they're using neck muscles to bring their shoulder suit because both first ribs out and he couldn't use the shoulders. So you want to do the neck telescoping for a couple of days and add in the treats with the horse yoga. Remember, let up on pressure, hold for a count of five, and then back to itchy scratchies. Babies get it so quick. So add that to your routine. Mm -hmm.